The first thing that comes to mind is the different geometries for freeze drying. In the vial, I will have a relatively large surface area for freeze drying, while the syringe will be a cylindrical geometry, just because the syringe needs to be needs to function as a syringe. So I will have to dry through the already dried substance. The water vapor has to pass through the already dried substance, which makes it a little more difficult. So the syringe needs siliconized components for functionality. I have to be able to push the stoppers through the syringe for injection, which is not needed in the vial. So silicon interaction with product has to be taken care of in the development of the formulation of the product. Another difference is if we look at where the product is sitting during lyophilization. So in the vial, the product will be at the bottom of the vial in direct contact with the glass and the shelf. And the shelf is what is being heated and cooled during the process. So the vial lyophilization process will be governed by direct conduct heat. While in the syringe, the product is sitting on the middle stopper halfway between the shelves without direct contact. So the lyophilization process will be governed by radiation and convection, which results in a slightly different lyophilization cycle. So if we look at the vial, a vial can sit by itself on the shelf, while the syringe, if you put it down, would fall over. So we have to put it into magazines for transportation through the different steps in the process. And the whole process will be designed around those trays. So the loading and unloading with those magazines will be automized with robotized handling units. So it's, as always, the goal to have as much automation in the process as possible. So based on what we discussed about the geometry in the vial versus the syringe and the different position of the product in the syringe, we can see that the lyophilization process will also be different. So the cycle that is developed for a vial will not be applicable for a syringe, but will have to be modified. The drying will be slightly different, but the goal of getting a product with the same quality and the same quality attributes at the end can be achieved, and we have done that for a lot of products.